Hi viewers, and this is Geek Gardener. I am in uh, Hyper Farms Experience Center. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to sow seeds, um, specifically in a propagation tray with cocoa peat. For today's example, I have taken um, lettuce seeds that are pelleted, and the growing medium is going to be cocoa peat. I'm going to use a 98 cell tray to sow the seeds, and uh, we'll get going. For growing medium, I'm using uh, cocoa peat. Uh, with me, there is only cocoa peat here, there is nothing else. Um, so I have just moist cocoa peat. Uh, how do you know if it is moist enough? You can simply uh, hold it like this in the in your hand and it should stay. It should not crumble. It means it is dry. So if you can see I am holding this and it retains its shape. So this is moist cocoa peat and I am going to fill this into the propagation tray. So I have with me cocoa peat seedling tray and some good quality pelleted seeds and we are going to start the process now. So, uh, so I have with me Mr. Shivaji who is going to also help me out. <coughs> Shivaji has a green thumb and whatever he does in our farm he does magic. So, for first when we put, we fill up all the cocoa peat nicely, but then cocoa peat is a loose uh, substance, it has a lot of air pockets in it. So we want to really tap it down with some existing tray. Uh, you can even take another tray and simply, simply use that to tap it down. So what it will do is, it will compact the thing and remove a lot of air pockets. So now you can see it has gone uh, inside. Now it's time to put the seeds in. Uh, we put only one seed per cavity because this is lettuce and it's going to be a big plant. So we only put one. Uh, for other plants we will do more. For example spinach we can do four to five seeds per plant for per cavity or uh, if it is celery we put one. For coriander we put more, basil we put more. So it really depends on how you purchase the plant, how big is the plant. If the plant is going to be sold in a big bunch, you get that way. Lettuce and all that, it's usually sold as a single head. So you put single plant. That's how we decide how. And also sometimes the market tells you how to do. So if you can see, we, these are pelleted seeds. So they're easier to handle. The actual seed is very small, but because of the pellet that is being made around it, we uh, ensure it is easier to handle. So if you put one seed, you only take one seed in hand and not like four or five seeds and uh, end up sowing more than what you wanted to sow. I'll probably show you how small is lettuce seeds. It's um, as small as a cumin seed. So it's very difficult to take one seed and sow it. So we always prefer pelleted seeds. Also if you're doing seed sowing but with machines, uh, pelleted seeds are more preferred because regardless of their size, the machines handle the same uh, diameter of the seed. So right now, there are almost 98 cells are there. We always cover the seeds only after everything is sown so that you know what all seeds have been put. If you put the seed and immediately cover it, you may miss to till which uh, row you have sown and which you have not. <coughs> now the sowing process is done. Now we have to cover them. So we simply whatever is above just Just simply tap it down so that they don't get eroded out. Just a little push, that's all. This is not a place to show your strength. You see, if it's just slightly covered, so sometimes we need to sow uh, seeds deeper. Everyone wants to know how deep the shoot seed should be going. And I have, I have repeatedly told in several of my videos that the depth of the sheet should be twice its size. Um, so if it is 1 mm thick, 2 mm deeper, that's how it should go. So now 
the seed sowing is complete. So, uh, generally what we do is once the seed is sown, the cocoa peat I have taken is very moist, it is quite moist. So, we do not need to water at all. What we do, we take a cover and cover this and leave this in a covered state for 2 to 3 days. In Seeds only need moisture and humidity to grow, they do not need a lot of water. Once the seed is covered and it is kept in a shade, not in a very hot place, uh, in about 2 to 3 days you will start seeing small germination happening. So after 2 or 3 days, we will open the cover and then see if there is any sign of germination. The moment you see sign of germination, even if it is just one plant in that 100 germinated, you should immediately expose them to sunlight. So for example, now this is the cover, so we, we, we simply cover it on all sides and usually we do in large numbers. So we have a bigger cover than for a demonstration purpose I did only one. Now I will show you in, a, in about 4 to 5 days what will be the seedling state that you will see. So if you can come here. So when we open some of the seeds will be just, if you look at it, it will be just coming out. You look at the seed, the, the root has gone in and the seed is just opening. This is another play. A good um, indication that the seed is about to germinate. You medi immediately expose them to sunlight. So when you expose them to sunlight, the seeds will immediately open up and not be get too lanky. You don't want the seedling to be lanky ever. That is a bad germination. You want the seedlings to be short and stocky. Uh, so this is probably day one or day two after germination. Germination would be just like this. This is the day in which this germinates. I am again showing you. Uh, this is the stage in which germination is happening. This is probably a few hours later. This is this is fully opened. This is all fully opened. Now I will show you I have another crop. This is lettuce again. Uh, I have this I think is seedless cucumber. Okay. Huh, seedless cucumber. So you can see you will see 100 percent germination. And as soon as they were germinated, we have exposed them to sunlight. Uh, some of them are still germinating, some of them have fully come, some probably they will show. These seeds are extremely good quality, all of them will show. See even this one that I just moved the soil around, you can see the seed germinating. So, so let us not be in a impatient there. So this is the stage of the germinated seedling tray.